Got the whole clan here. We're back. Update on the Kaboon Vipers. What are you doing, Chandler? Why do you like this? <laughs> That's your boy. So today, got some bad news. Alex was over here cleaning cages earlier and noticed, I noticed when I was taking this Kaboon Viper out, this Kaboon now has something weird going on, almost blood coming out of its nostrils. Really strange. This Kaboon Viper is eh, not really showing any signs of progress. So it sucks. So we're switching up the, what are we switching to? We're not switching, we're going to continue using what we're using, but we're also going to administer another antibiotic that should take care of specifically the stomatitis in the mouth and also clear up some other stuff too. It's called septazidine. Oh, so this sucks really bad. So water. Okay. I got the water from my, uh, I don't know why this is in here. I guess to mix it with the anti-venom. I still so have... Yeah, this was the, this was the King Cobra anyway. Empty. Wow. Well, what are the wells? That's yeah, what the water's for. It came with sterile water, so just like we're gonna use it. Just like the anti venom, this stuff comes in a powder form, and it needs to be reconstituted, which means we're gonna make it into a medicine that we can use essentially. And to do that, we need sterile water or saline solution. We're still we don't have any of that, but we do have the perfect amount of sterile water. I don't know. So we need, here, you break it because uh, your yeah, fingers are already fucked up. What, do you just crack it? I would assume just right over the top. Oh, I don't want to like, so, break the whole thing. There was two blue lines on it, so. Is there a blue line? Oh, there's a blue dot. Jesus. I believe in you. I feel like I'm going to break the whole thing. Is it not going easy? Ah! No. Their instructions. Yeah. Pretty sure you're just supposed to break it. Got it. I can totally read whatever language this is on the side. Jesus. One of your fans has to know what that says, right? <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Have you made it to yet? Yeah. Oh, this is what this means. I just don't want to like cut my hand. That's why I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm the tattoo artist. I know, but your fingers are already up. I got People want to know what happened to your arm. A lot of people are asking. It was a big alligator. Sometimes accidents happen. We don't have the best days of every day. So it was a giant alligator that snacked on my bicep. I still have him. His name is Master Blaster. He's a very sweet boy. Are we using two of them? There's got ice. It should be easy. Right? Try, dude. I feel like what if it just cracks like it just pops real easy? It doesn't. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Look at that, dude. How in the hell? Woo. It's like we staged that or something. What the fuck? I was trying to open it. You saw me try. You were really putting pressure on that, bro. And I was putting pressure on it. That blows my mind. That's pretty epic. That was pretty epic. I had a feeling. What the hell? I have to do this every day? No, it's gonna be every 72 hours. Oh, great. You know what's better than having one sick of boon viper? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta let some of this pressure out. Two sick of boon vipers. I wanted to go put it back in the cage and it was all gurgling. And like, <laughs> I was like, oh god, no. 
We just have to watch now. So we'll treat her. And she's pissy too. Her. Like normally that gaboon is like a sweetheart. Like doesn't try biting. It's like super nice. And now it's right now busy. it is mean as. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, right. it looks a little bit less swollen than it did the other day. You think? Uh, yeah, it looks a little less swollen. It's still cheesed up and dry, but at least to me it does. Less saggy. It's more like in place. Still ugly looking. Still ugly looking. Just dry it up. There's some cheese on there. If this was any other kind of snake, we would clean it off again. But on one hand, I really don't want to stress them out more than we have to because we've been treating them every day, every other day. And then also, you know, the first the video that you posted or whatever, we're lancing stuff, scraping stuff. So I really don't want to stress them out more than he is. The more stress they have, the worse off it's going to be. It's easier for things to attack the body. And he's already under a great deal of stress just having it. Yeah, we're going to be doing the oral batrol as well. And then two, this is different. The Batrol we're giving orally, which you can, there were some questions I saw in your video last time. People were asking, why don't you give it injectable? It works better, blah, 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 blah. It's true, the drug works better injectable, but with Batrol, the difference between this and the Batrol is you can give it in, uh, as far as in intramuscular in the snake. But the Batrol, if not done correctly, which we could do it correctly, but there's always that little room for error and this snake doesn't have a lot of meat where we're gonna put these shots. So the Batril can actually blow a hole in a snake. You get a lot of necrosis around the site that you uh, put the medication. So if it's not in there right, the snake's gonna have a big hole and that's just another problem. This stuff isn't in, is, uh, as extreme as that. It's not gonna blow a hole in the snake, even if you miss a little bit. So it's very simple. I've done this a billion times. We're gonna go a third of the length down from the head. And we're gonna go right into the muscle that is on either end of the spine. And then we'll switch. You know, we'll do one side. Today, we'll see if we can remember a saddle. We'll mark something on the snake to see where we did it. And then we'll switch to the other side the next time we do the shot. Go yeah, in case anybody's that. wondering if there's an easier way to do this. There is. <laughs> a much easier way to do this. It's called tooth. Although we wouldn't be able to use that with the bait drill, but give it a shot, this would be it. You're good right there, right? Mm -hmm. If at any point in time you're not good, let me know. But once the needle goes in, you don't have a choice but to be good. Yep. So we're gonna go a third of the way down. And then the muscle that we're looking for is on either side of the spine. It's gonna be a little, it's a lot easier with like a big python or something. They have those muscles on the side of the spine that kind of come out past the spine. For a snake like this, like the rhino vipers, the gaboon vipers, this spine is a lot more prominent. The muscles are recessed on the side. And you wanna be sure that you hit those muscles. Now you can feel them. You good? Mm-hmm. You can feel them on the side. I gotta get in front of this snake. So don't let them shoot into my balls. It'll be much appreciated. So we're gonna go right here on the side of the saddle. You can feel the muscles right here. And because the scales are going this way, we want to go the opposite direction because you're not gonna be able to get through the scales. So we're going in between the two scales right into the muscle at a 45 degree angle and then down straight, almost in a zigzag. Put that in. Massage. That's it. No. Should we give it a Batrol? Yes, I'm gonna do that right now. Just so I don't have to pin it again. A snake is not fun to pin. Help. He's pissed. Gotta help you out. Gotta give you your meds, man. You good? Yep. today we got more to go anybody that wants to know if there's a way to find out exactly what's going on there's labs and stuff that you can do for this situation it's not exactly what we would be doing 
In any other situation, if it was a Python or something like that, that could be easily handled without the threat of death, uh, would be what's called a tracheal wash, especially for this instance. We know it's something respiratory because the other one is showing signs of respiratory. This guy's showing a little bit of signs of respiratory, and he's got all the secondary effects of the mouth rot and stomatitis and all that. So what we would do is call the tracheal wash. It's essentially, you're running a tube down to the lung. You fill that up with some water or a solution, and then you draw that back out, and you send that to the lab, which is going to tell you what's going on inside the lungs, what's causing it, what antibiotics fight it, what antibiotics are resistant to it, the whole nine yards. For this situation, it's, it's just not uh, it's just not a good idea. It's not a good idea for any of us. No vet really wants to go through that. We don't want to go through that. We don't want to put the snake through that. Um, so we're using a couple of different antibiotics. It's a very broad spectrum that's used for most of the time when we have like respiratory infections and stuff like that. The Batril is a go-to, the Fortaz, Tazidim, all that stuff will, will knock all this stuff out. And if we continue to have problems uh, after this stuff runs this course, then we may take some more extreme uh, measures to, to find out what's going on. But I think that this will clear it up. And we're working with a lot of really good vets right now. And, and uh, this is the consensus from everybody's opinions. Poor guy. Hopefully it starts helping him out soon. Thanks for not killing me today. So then uh, this, the female, what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna wait till tomorrow? We would do it tonight, but... Um, we don't have much ways. Yeah. You, anytime you're using any meds or anything like that, it's never a good idea to guesstimate anything. It doesn't work like that. I don't care how long you've been doing it. I don't care what you're using. I don't care if it's just deworming stuff or whatever. You never want to eyeball anything. There's a reason to calculate that. And then if you're trying to eyeball stuff when you actually have a problem in the future, it may not work the same because you gave too little or too much or too long or too short or whatever it is. You want to be exact. Right. So for her, we need to get her weight. Cool. We'll to come up with a scale. All right, so we'll recap tomorrow. We're going to do it all over, bro. That sucks. Both of my Gaboon Vipers are sick. I think they'll be right. No way now. Alright, so let's take let's at least get a look at her before tomorrow so we can have a better understanding of what we're working with me. Ooh yeah. You hear that? Ooh yeah. Hundred percent. Listen carefully. You can hear how wheezy she is. You hear that? It's not like a fat kid farting in church. Mm. She's really pretty though. Sure. Really pretty. So that's the bummer. Like we put snakes together, we want them to breed. Look at her nostrils well. though. You see how her nostrils are like gunked up? Yeah. See both sides of her nostrils are gunked? Oh yeah. It doesn't look like blood. It just looks... It's just dark in there. I think it's just snot. It's chest. If I just get my face real close to it, I can see it, right? This is like classic signs of respiratory. Respiratory infection? Yeah. So, but the meds that we're going to give her tomorrow once we lay her, we'll take care of that? Yeah, what we have will definitely take care of And then, too, she's like... Now, how did she get it? She got it from him? She would have got it from him, yeah. Because he's going to have discharge and stuff like that. They're in there together. Um... Some of this stuff is airborne, possibly, uh, but most likely just from the discharge from the other guy in there. Great. And we're going to treat, and then like I said, if things don't get better within the next two weeks, right? Especially with this one. We'll see a faster result out of this one, because this one's a little less wheezy, but he's got the mouth stuff. That's mm -hmm. going to take a little bit of time. There's a lot of damage there. There's a lot of trauma. This one... Could have the infection in the lungs, but she's still very healthy looking. She's still outwardly appearing, you know, healthy. Uh, we'll probably see more of a 180 degree turn from this one first before. Uh, Hi. Fat Hi kid guys. jokes and stuff. We're back. Fat kid jokes. Hopefully there's no fat people watching. Just kidding. There's, there's bound to be a couple. Bound to be a couple. That's all right. I'm fat too. All right. So, all right. So what are we, so we're going to medicate the really sick one today, again, obviously, right? Yes? Yeah, what do you want to do first? You want to weigh the girl? When was the last time you think he ate? Three weeks ago, a month ago. And he had that shit while he ate? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you offered anything to him? Mm -hmm. We'll take it up. 
You think it will? Probably. Probably be good to like, maybe not today, but like tomorrow and see if he'll take, not like a, not like a full size that you would normally feed him. Something small? Yeah. yeah. And then if he'll take it, do that like every two days, something really small, just for like a week. See if Get his body weight up? Yeah, just a little bit. It'll help him out for sure. Okay, so what do you want to do first? Uh, you know she's calmer. Is she calmer? I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be so much worse when we pin her, but yeah, I feel like they're both pretty shitty. Alright. How come your pet Gaboon Viper isn't more chill? I mean she is she normally is. chill. But you don't like cuddle with these things on a couch then? Now she's got this. You hear that? Yeah, dude. Aw, oh, you sound like garbage. That sounds like Wilford Bradley after a cigar. Oof. Yeah, uh, she's pretty, yeah. She is pretty. real pretty. That's like a, that's a killer snake, dude. But right, let's get her in way real quick. Weigh her first. All right, so we gotta weigh her so we can figure out how much medicine to give her. Man, it sucks that both of them are sick now. Garbage. On the flip side, I went to Jay's opening party and I met this guy there that does the You hear that? I told you, bro. It's a fat kid in a kiddie pool, letting him rip. That's crazy. Sounds like a wet fart. Oh, man. So who is it, Jay Shopping? This kid that does uh, skeleton rearticulation. Like he's badass. Like you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. So if anything were to happen, <laughs> you're really putting it out there, huh? <laughs> if they do the die, bro, side. I'm still gonna keep them. I'm just gonna get them rearticulated. Yeah. People on my channel ask me all the time, like, oh, why do you you love animals, but you have a bunch of taxidermy and stuff? So, well, so do I. It's because animals die, and then I get to keep them still. Yeah, I like to enjoy. I can still pet them. All my taxidermy, guess what? Still fluffy. You can still pet it. Bro, I have a taxidermy alligator at the house that's like two feet, and the guy propped it up so his head's like out, and it, he's got the. That's awesome. He's the funny. most killer yeah, shit ever. That's hilarious. These right. guys don't have any fingers though. Oh, we're gonna weigh it out in the bathroom. Yeah, because right. I need the yeah, flat yeah, surface. Yeah. Cool. Listen, Terry. Listen. If you want to see what me and Tyler do in the bathroom, you'll have to subscribe to the adult version. <laughs> YouTube X. YouTube After Hours. YouTube After Hours. So she's 1.9. We have a 1.9. Another one was a 1.85. So she oh. outweighs them by like 0 0.75, which is good. It's not like I calculated those without calling it. Tight. Tight. Alright, so let's get this dose ready and then I'll. In the damn thing. Uh, I know you don't like us very much. All right, game time. So uh, you want to get you want to give her the shot, or you want to give her the oral first? She's not getting a shot. She's not getting a shot. She's, She's just getting oral. We only have. Uh, I can, if we need to, we'll order more uh, of the other stuff. The Rachel should knock her stuff out. Good. That's crazy. It's not even full size. How ironic would that be? Going to the hospital. Did you get bit? Well, no, I got stuck. Technically, it was from its. God, that thing is huge. I know. That's what she said. <laughs> That's gonna be good in the video. All right, just leave it there. Just remember, it's right there. Yeah, we'll totally. It doesn't blend in with the carpet or anything. Yeah, well, so well, fine. Let's do this first, and then we'll get the thing out of there. Please let me in. finger if you can or slide it back. Oh, Try I just don't wanna like here, I'll make it easy. You got this right here? Yep. 
got her. Hey. Yeah, hold her up. Hold hold straight her up. up. If you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just get in there for a second. Get back there. Right. Good? Okay, where's that tooth? Right on the floor. All right, just let me just. Here you go, I can see it. I'm sorry. It's because I love you. I swear. So how many uh, how many times is she gonna need this? She's gonna need this every two days. Uh, we're gonna do it every other day, and we're probably gonna do it for 14 days. 14. Hopefully, you don't have any cuts on my finger. Woo! Dude, that thing is gnarly. Dude. Gnarly. <laughs> Big old. Pricker right there. That's why we don't need coffee. <laughs> yeah, for real. Ugh. Okay, so he needs both. I'm gonna take a picture of this now. Okay, go pee pee. Well, that was super fun. Nothing gives you a good old stiffy like holding the viper by the head. And all. All right. Six snake number two. Hello. How are you? Got the herpagonocephalates going on, Got man. Got the herpagonocephalitis. Herpagonocephalitis. Whoa. Man, you skinny, man. Yeah, I gotta get this thing some meals. It's getting a little on the bony side. The female at least has good weight. This thing is definitely looking a little scrone. Well, when he gets angry, he looks fat. Yeah, when he's angry, he's fat, but when he's skinny, he's... Do that. You know, a lot of skinny. importer exporters do that. What? They have to take pictures of their snakes. When they're pissed? They look like, oh, shit. They're yeah. like, oh, already. <laughs> they'll make them blow up. They're like, hurry up and take it. <laughs> take the picture. Doing that. Oh. Wrong. Dr. Vanilla Ice over here. Dr. Vanilla Killer. Dr. Vanilla Killer. In the house. How about I went to Starbucks the other day and the lady behind the counter goes, she goes, do you know who you look like? And mind you, this is after the slew of Vanilla Ice comments. So like there's people in there and I was on my phone and I busted out. I was like, Vanilla Ice! And she looks at me and she goes, oh, no, no. <laughs> I was like, what? The guy next to her goes, are you serious? You don't see Vanilla Ice right now? <laughs> she said, I look like the guy that played Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. And I was like, what? Oh, no, you Tol don't. Totally lost me on that it's one. It's hard, yeah. yeah. That was definitely Vanilla Ice. Go back to Vanilla Ice. Though. You're a Rip Van Winkle all day. All right. Ready? I'm going to get it like this. Stop. That. Collaborate. Please. And listen. Collaborate. Listen. Oh, all right. That's all me. Oh, that's all me? Okay. <laughs> thought for maybe a second you were gonna like just grab him or something. Yeah. Oh, he's twisting on you. Hold on. I'll flip him. He's getting twisty. Oh, oh. oh, he's definitely got more strength than he did before. He's that's for damn sure. Alright, I'm gonna put some betwixt my legs so oh, don't yeah. let go. Okay. Oh, I mean, my ball is getting. Yeah, I guess it would do something for my size. Oh, God. All right. All right. Are you putting the rest of the other video where we explain all this shit? Yeah. Right. Yep. So I don't really have to explain it again. Nope. All right, we went on the right side last time. So we're going to go on the left side this time. And then, too, if we look where the injection site was, which obviously you can't tell, which is a good thing because you don't want a hole blown in the side of them. That's what we were worried about with the bait drill. If you use the bait drill and use it wrong, you can come in here and there's a big nasty hole in it. So this stuff is a little bit more, it's a little bit easier on the snake as far as. Yeah, a few people were actually asking me, they're like, why don't you inject the bait drill? That's why. I've, I've done it, but like I said, like it's much more comfortable with like a big python or something with huge muscles on the side of that spine. These guys don't really have that. So I'd be like hard pressed to really want to. Also, like you could do it orally. May not be as strong orally, 
but uh, it works and then we don't have to really mess this thing up. Is and it in? Say, yeah, is it in? That's what she says <laughs> to me all the time. So, I'm sorry, bud. All right, so with the, is with the, yeah, you're good, you're good. let it go. We're gonna have to them. Woo! Spring back on that one, boy. All right, where's the other hook? You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. Two then with the needle, you never want to go like straight in. Like people will go straight in at that 45. I'll go in like at a at a really shallow angle and then bend it up, go in and then zigzag. So I'll do like a Z in there. So it doesn't come back out. Wait. Dude, you gotta oral. Oh, we're still doing oral? Well you should have let me know before I let his head go again. That's what I said. She, she did say it. I did. You did say it? She did. Ah, you're like, I'm gonna make Tyler pin this thing three times today. Where's Chandler or Will when we need him? At least I'm getting them with this hand though. Oh, you were using left hand. This is my good hand. This is my good hand. It's my strong hand. It's my strong hand. What'd you say? I saw the same place. All right. Got it. Here you go, Dustin. Pick a hook that you don't like. Pick a hook I don't like? Or pick a hook, any hook. I want to see, I got to see the inside of his mouth. Oh, great. Uh, this one? Are you going to make him bite the handle? Yeah, because I don't want him to bite himself. Whatever, please, whatever. I mean, is this going to come off anyways? Yeah. So, we want to see inside the mouth again to make sure he's doing well. On the outside, it actually looks like he's doing really good. I know it may look nasty, but it looks a lot better than it did. And a lot of the cheese is kind of, I'm gonna let you do it, because since you got them. Yeah. Um, a lot of the cheese is gone, and oh, we, I, I see a lot of pink, which is actually good. It's not crusty, it's not gross. It actually looks really good, man. I'm gonna pull that cheese off now, so give me a second. You're gonna pull that cheese off. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, I got you. I'm sorry, bud. I don't mean to hurt you. I just want to help you. All right, so this stuff at the top of his mouth isn't even really, I think it's from the bottom of the mouth and it's just drying on there. We're gonna get that shit out of there. That's good though, because it's not it's not stuck on the bottom anymore. I promise as soon as I pull this off, it'll take me two seconds to do it. Pick him up. He's gotta go up. He's coming outside. He's gotta go up. He's gotta go up. He's gotta go up. Swallow. All right. I'm hopeful. I'm gonna be honest. The first day we started, I wasn't very hopeful. Uh, I wasn't very hopeful either. Ooh. Well, that's that. We survived. No bites. But there's definitely improvement, dude. The cheese is kind of gone. The tissue is all pink and healthy looking. It's like it's trying to regrow some shit. Heal itself out again. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. Get like a small meal in them tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna feed them. Maybe you don't tiny. do every other day. I lied about that. We'll see Maybe you just do eats. one. Give him a couple of days to see how he does. And then if he does well with that, with all the meds and the stress and shit. If he does well for a couple of days and he doesn't toss it or anything like that, then, then we'll fatten him up. Cool. Should Maybe. be fine. Yeah. Yeah, he's not like super, super skinny. He could use a little bit, but he's not in a, he's not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. He's gonna die or anything like that. Yeah. Did we, which one did you put the end in the mouth? Yeah. I didn't put the end in any mouth. Oh, that's right, you used the tip. Just the tip, just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Just to see day. how it feels. All right, guys, that's that. That's the Gaboon update. So, hopefully it works. If not, I'm gonna have some pretty cool mouse. Stop saying that. Saying that. <laughs> They're sick. The Boom Vipers falls are dope, but hopefully he's fine. That's how I feel about my kids, huh? Just don't say that! If you don't make the backflip... If you don't make the backflip... I can totally mount you. You're out of here. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.
just literally popped off like that. So funny. You were really working that thing, dude. Bro, I was trying so hard. You get the golden sticker for that, at least. That's all that counts. What did you do differently? I just popped it in. He's vanilla ice. There's that too. The favorite part about having sex is when I get sick and I have to play doctor. Not at all. Not fun. Well, the good part about this is this should clear up. Like I said, it should focus more on the mouth right part of the shit. The atrial will help knock out. Are you recording now? How about now? Are you recording now? Are you recording now? Are you recording? No? Are you? <laughs> you are. God, you're such a jerk. Okay, anyways, bonus footage a couple days later. I want to see if this guy's going to eat a little meal. We medicated it yesterday. Um, so I've given it, to, it's been 24 hours now since it's been medicated. So I'm going to try to see if it's going to take a small meal. If it does, that's a good sign. The snake has been super, super skinny. Like you can see, like if it's not pissed off and trying to huff and puff, it's getting really skinny. So let's see if it's gonna take out. See if it'll take this guy. Striking it, but he's not biting it. Come on. So I'm just gonna leave it in there overnight, I guess. See if maybe he'll eat it. Ugh, sucks. Hope these things get better, but that's all we can do for now. So stay tuned for more updates. I'll try to post one at least once a week. So.